Well, you're looking at some images coming from Pluto. I've talked about this before, and they wanted to show images like this. And, you know, right out the gate, we all know we are hit with massive deception from NASA. It's all they ever do is feed us deception. But as I did announce in another video, they are going to come out here tomorrow and make this huge announcement in regards to Mars and what they've discovered there. And I have a funny feeling it may be the announcement that they have discovered flowing water. That they have discovered either water, a microscopic form of life, or a fossil. Something of that nature. And what that will do is be the proof that yes... There was life that existed. And then the big question is going to come back to what happened. That's going to be the reoccurring big question. After they announce that they've discovered life or that there was life on Mars, what happened to it? All of this going hand in hand with everything you're seeing on the world stage. And coming, this announcement coming right on the heels of this super blood moon eclipse. They've also said that Encladius, uh, one of the moons out there, is nothing but a massive ocean under a, sh a hard shell. They've told us there was a massive ocean on Mars. And here when we look to Pluto, this dwarf planet, this small rock out there on the edge of our solar system that has its own moons, well, lo and behold, they say amazingly, it has an atmosphere that is more like Earth's than they ever thought. Now, if that's coming out of their mouths in regards to Pluto, what do you think they're about to say about Mars? I'm telling you, the movie The Martian is about to drop here within days after this announcement. I'm telling you, they're about to drop the bombs in regards to to life out there and it has everything to do with Mars in my opinion it has everything to do with small scale life it's not going to be little green men that they're going to come out and say but they're going to say look life existed on Mars now we got to figure out what happened and as time goes by they're going to use this I believe as part of the theme to scare the people here on this planet and who knows it could go right along with their whole climate change agenda this whole global warming agenda that we now, after all this research, have found out that Mars was destroyed because they didn't take care of their planet. There was life there. It was thriving, we come to find out. But it got wiped out because of why? Because they didn't take care of their planet. That's what they're going to end up telling the people on Earth as part of their ploy. I can guarantee you. And they'll try to blame whatever cataclysm happened on mismanagement of the planet. But then it's going to be, well, where'd they go? <laughs> you see, this is when Pandora's box is open. And once, and there, it looks like they're on the verge of at least doing so. Because when it comes to Mars and making any other big announcements, unless it has to do with life or something pertaining to life on that planet and the history of it, it's not big. People just don't care. So I really do look for them, especially with all the senior people that they have coming to this. I see this being a big one. And when talking about Pluto, and I'm showing the images here, go in and pull this up, blow it up, zoom in, and look at some of the detail in here. I said the same thing with Ceres. Um, with all of these different places, this Titan had incredible landscape. And then they never showed us any more. What about these mystery spots on Ceres? Remember the pyramid type structure and these white bright spots? Now they have been over top of this object. They've done circles around it. They have the best images you could ever ask for, but they're not releasing them. What they do release, they state, they state that all oh, is still a mystery. They still haven't figured it out, but they look like they're made of different material. I think once one big announcement comes, many more will follow. But you have to remember, just because there's not life on the outside of a rock out there, where do you think the safest place to be would be? To me, it would be on the inside.
And that goes for this rock too. And maybe in time you realize that this rock is a lot more hollow than people think. As well as every other one out there. Look at the holes in Venus in both the poles. Look at the other planets. And you explain to me what those holes are and where they go. And I'll tell you that I believe they go into the inner part of the planet. And I believe they've lied to you so much about how this planet works, how it functions, and all that, that it's all about to come tumbling down. I do believe there's molten lava inside this planet, inside different layers, but I do believe that the main core of this planet, like the moon, is hollow. And I believe there is a star, some sort of energy burning, a smoky star, not like our sun, but an energy that's different, that is burning on the inside of this planet. And I believe it gives light, it gives warmth, vegetation grows, and I believe it's always been there. And it's my own belief, and you can call me crazy all you want, but how do you know? Because you've never been there. And if you try to get to either one of these poles or holes at the poles to get inside this planet, you're going to be met with military brass from every single country. And then you ask yourself, why is China, Russia, the United States, the UK, all of them surrounding this hole in the ocean in the North Pole? It will let you get nowhere near it. How come butterflies come up out of this area? Hmm? Maybe Admiral Byrd was right. Eyes open.